exception to the rules of rational functions. I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent example where you learn more about how and why should we have a hole in a rational function. In general, if the rational function has a common factor in both numerator and denominator, then that factor will result in a whole. It really means that if I have a function f of x equals to, let us say, x plus 1 times x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 times x minus 2, in that case, we'll have a whole at which point? x plus 1, x plus 1 cancel out, so we'll have a whole at x equals to minus 1. Correct? And we'll have a vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. Now we have a hole in this case since there was a common factor in numerator and denominator, right? So many times and many examples we have done well kind of work with this strategy. Let us say we have this function x minus 3. Here also we are going to have a hole at x equals to 0, right? So in this case we have a hole at x equals to 0 and we have vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. Reason being that we have a common factor x in numerator and denominator, right? So it is indeed a restriction, but that restriction leads to whole. Perfect. But there are so many cases, and I think this is a very interesting example which has been overlooked so far. So let me take another example where I will take the example as x plus 1 and uh, let's say we have x plus 1 whole square, right? Let me add one more factor here. How does it matter? Okay, just to make it more interesting. Now, as you can see here, we do have a common factor, x plus 1, correct? So, if I kind of see, so x plus 1, let me rewrite this as x plus 1. And then we have here x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now in this case we do have a common factor which cancels out but does that lead to a whole? That is the question. It doesn't. Reason is very simple. We still have one more factor in the denominator of the same kind. So therefore in this particular case as far as the whole is concerned we have none, right? But as far as vertical asymptote is concerned we have two. One is at x equals to minus 1, the other one is x equals to 2. So there are exceptions to this kind of a rule as I am saying. We normally say these things so that it helps you to solve questions, but these are not the rules, right? These are common understanding, but they should be used very cautiously. So that will, I think, help you to answer your questions perfectly in your test and understand rational functions in a better way. Thank you and all the best.